I specialize in transnational American studies. Specifically, I'm interested in the cultural aspects of international relations. My focus is on U.S. relations with Turkey and Iran since World War I. My second book is titled America's Wife, America's Concubine, Turkey, Iran, and the Politics of Comparison. My book focuses on comparisons made between Turkey and Iran, both by U.S. scholars and policymakers, but also by Turkish and Iranian leaders themselves. And I look at who has compared these countries, with what goals, under what conditions. My work puts diplomatic foreign policy documents in conversation with cultural products. So I might look at how a movie depicts Iran and how that movie is then interpreted in Turkey and how that relates to foreign policy, both Turkish foreign policy, but also U.S. foreign policy and Iranian foreign policy. My research is very qualitative. Qualitative approach will have us take a step back and look at the category of democratization and what we mean by that. What is the history of that category? In what ways has that category been wielded? And how has it been wielded under conditions of inequality? I think we tend to think about comparison as something that's objective, that comes down to numbers, that comes down to rankings. And we sometimes forget the ways in which these comparisons are historically determined. They're determined by strategy, determined by research questions. Comparison is sort of inevitable. I think it's built in to human thought, but the privileging of comparison and the assignment of rankings and merit and resource allocation based on these lists that we make, I would like people to sort of pause and recognize the ways in which our categories are not natural and inevitable objective, but they come from a certain history. American studies is a very interdisciplinary field. We take methodologies from history, from English, from sociology, from anthropology. It really depends on the question. So I think students enjoy that openness and it really helps the faculty as well in determining our research questions and our sources. Notre Dame is a great place to just do this kind of work because there's a lot of support for our internationalization on campus and a lot of support for international research. And I find that the students are very interested in views of the United States from outside the United States.